welcome back one more time to the Sonic Gems Collection. This is Mario Man 2100 and we're back with another first impressions video and we're having one last look at uh, Sonic Gems Collection via this series today. So we've done, like I said in the last Game Gear uh, video that we did with him <laughs> uh, in this version of the game, for PlayStation 2, we've done Sonic the Fighters, we've done Sonic CD, we've done Sonic R, we've done a lot of the Game Gear stuff. Now we've got Tails, who had some games on his own, like Knuckles Chaotix and a few other games in the franchise. Tails actually did get a couple of spin-offs himself, so we've got Tails Sky Patrol, so we can move around. Yeah, so Tails got his own little spin offs. And we got a few villains, including uh, Witch. Witch Cart the, the Witch, or Witchcraft the Witch, oh, I don't know. Oh yeah, if we hit the ground, um, that's, uh, that's, that we lose a life. For some reason. And when we hit, obviously when we hit other things as well, But yeah, we have a fly meter. Um, basically, we need to uh, fly as far as we can. And uh, these little candies will help us recover. As to why we have the ring, maybe it's a basis of... Uh... How are we supposed to avoid that then? How are we supposed to avoid that, that, that projectile if, uh... I think we're supposed to... Oh, okay, so that's a checkpoint. Yeah, the little candies uh, help with our flight meter in the game, so we'll replenish. I missed it. So I'm holding forward, so I think you can go faster with holding forward in this game. But yeah, I'm not sure what the aim was for the Tails spin-offs. 
maybe it was to, uh, you know, be more like a kid's game. I, I, I threw the ring at the post. Do I have to run into the post to, to go down it? And throw the ring at it to... That's currency. I miss the bell. I hope that that doesn't send me when I die. I don't. I hope it doesn't send me all the way back. If it does, that sucks. <laughs> it's a bit jaggy, I will say. So I got pretty far. Yeah, so they're checkpoints, and we missed them all. Wow. Firing on all cylinders, isn't it? See, I just ran straight through that. Another checkpoint that time. See, why would I give you a trolley that you can use your ring on just to run into a wall? Is it to save flight meter? Because that's the only thing I can see that would be good about. Oh, so we can run into those blocks, but it will send us in a tumbling animation. That's <laughs> okay. Tell Sky Patrol, kind of sucks. <laughs> Don't like it. Sorry, <laughs> but there's a lot of things that are very confusing with that. Okay, Tell's Adventure, but this one's actually kind of pretty good. Kind of pretty good, yeah, that makes sense. Directional pad, jump or propeller fly with circle triangle, and we can attack or use an item. On the gang on the game gear, but at least it's at least it's normal. I mean, if Tales of Inches, I don't know if uh, that was supposed to be a cutscene, like an opening cutscene. So we don't have any items. So the, I hear this is supposed to be like a Metroidvania type of game with tails. Yeah. So the rings are our uh, health.
Ow. Wow, I died, I died immediately. I'm just gonna reset the game. I think I can do that by the menu. It was cutscene. Uh, I skipped it. Tails is asleep and flickies are all around the place. Ah, the enemy! Lights the forest on fire! And Tails is like, why would you do that? Who would do such a thing? No, it's not Eggman. These bird thingies. I didn't think that my bomb was high enough for that. At least crouching down kind of resets the camera a little bit. So you gotta press up. To go up with flight, looks like. So we have regular bombs, so we actually attack with regular bombs in this game, it looks like. Sounds like Genesis, but that is definitely Game Gear <laughs> bombs sound effect. So I can't throw most of multiple bombs while in the air.
I have seen playthroughs of this game for a while, so I can't exactly remember where to go. Can I move the spring? Yes, I can. Very good. Oh, when I go off screen, it resets, okay. At least I know that, but if, if the case, I, I screw up again. Can't go down that way. We need a uh, an upgrade that way. Oh, I landed on the spikes that I died. Well, okay. I think that'll do for Tales Adventure. I mean, I like that game a little bit more. Like, I could see why. Some people would hold it in high regard as being a good game and that sort of thing, but yeah, it just mm, it doesn't feel like it's for me. And last but not least, we're gonna go Vector Man. Jump circle. Blue Sky Software, who apparently is debunked now, has been debunked for a long time. I oh, ninety five, holy shit. This was a Genesis game. 2049 and Earth City's forests and ice caps are fouled with toxic sludge. Humanity has escaped to the stars, leaving mechanical ore bots to clean up. One powerful ore bot, Rasta? I think maybe that's how it's supposed to be pronounced, like disaster, as it says on the top, oversees the cleanup through a planet wide comm net. So I'm guessing it's a, it's a community network. Uh, tragedy strikes in when, in error, attendants connect a, se a salvage nuclear bomb to Rasta's master control circuits. Oh, well, it's a nuclear bomb. I think I might have skipped past, so I press start then. I think it's supposed to be like, like, uh, since, um, 
something like Donkey Kong Country really, really took off with, with Rare and, and like the pseudo 3D graphics back on the Super Nintendo, they actually made this to combat that. To, to say that we've got, you know, 3D graphics as well. I wonder what, what is health? So yeah, so then they eventually made Vector Man. And I mean, I like the design of Vector Man. In fact, I, I wish that he would <laughs> come back, because I've known about Vector Man for a long time, but just I have never played the games. Oh, and I died. I didn't even notice my health bar. Down that far. Are invisible platforms because I was just on <laughs> up on nothing. Genesis twang when it comes to explosions. <laughs> oh, pff, I got slammed off screen. So, do I have one life left or do I have infinite, infinite lives? I always. I, I, when it comes to, to, to some platformers, you never know. Wow. So yeah, so it's a so it's a shoot 'em up platformer in a lot of ways. Rasa Warhead is born, and he stands for tyranny, hatred, and oppression by Warhead's decree, Earth is forged into an instrument of death for the returning humans. Vector Man lands his space barge after delivering a load of sludge to the sun, so it's the burning up the sludge in the sun. Okay. <laughs> Unhindered by evil mind control, he will not rest until Warhead is defeated and the Earth is again free. It's like a can of duck. Okay. shots, okay. Well, on a slant, it's gonna suck, but... Yeah, 
I'm gonna jump over that one. Oh, I ended up. Oh, because it's 3D ground. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I just ran in there. I wasn't even looking. I wasn't paying attention. So, what is he shooting? He's shooting with his hand. There's an invisible platform there. See now, if I'm standing up, it'll shoot down. But if I'm crouched down, it'll shoot up. Okay. So I'm guessing like the little orb things, the little green orbs that I get, uh, health, like a health restore. have a big arc when uh, you initially shoot them or when they shoot at you <laughs> so you sit so casually <laughs> what the fuck that's funny ow one bar of damage, uh, one, one bar of health, rather than a full restore. What am I supposed to hit there? I'm confused as <laughs> all hell. But I think that'll do for that. Um, I still think that, that that game, like, Vector Man is still kind of a cult classic for a lot of people. Um, any other game, of course, was good. It's alright. I, I won't say it's the best thing in the world, but it definitely was fun. It was fun to play. So, with all that said, we're done with the Sonic Gems collection. Like, I mean, we technically have a question mark here, and that's, uh... I believe it's supposed to be Vector Man 2, but I think you got to play some of these games multiple times. I think it's it's like, it's like it's a little bit like the same with uh, Mega Collection, where if you play a certain amount of uh, games, like, certain games a certain amount of times, um... It'll unlock the game from within, so you've got things like Common Zone, like the Ooze, that sort of thing. Uh, this game has uh, Vector Man 2. Um, uh, in this game, uh, there's more games that uh, would be unlocked, but it's only in the Japanese version. Uh, so things like, I think, Bonanza Brothers, I think, is one, and like Streets of Age. And the reason for that is because uh, in the West, um, this is rated E for everyone, or, or, or in Australia it's, it's G, so it's for general audience. Um, whereas if we added Bonanza Brothers and Streets of Rage in, it probably would be E10, or like uh, PG, which is Parental, gu uh, parental Guidance uh, in Australia, so that's the next level up. And uh, they didn't want to mess with that rating, so they took those games. They took those games out. I only put like Vector Man, Vector Man 2 as bonus games. Uh, since I already have the Mega Collection Plus um, save file, I already have Vector Man unlocked from the get go. But yeah, that's Sonic Gems Collection. I mean, there's there's a few other things in this game, like things like 
the like you can read the manuals for each of the games that are in there. So if I have that one, I think I can show this off. But yeah. So like um, the Sonic CD version that, that that's in there is uh, the PC release. Uh, you got Sonic R as well. Well, all the uh, manuals for the Game Gear stuff. I'm surprised Vector Man isn't included in that, considering it's a bonus. And then you've got the museum, which is a whole bunch of illustrations and stuff. So we're going to get a whole bunch of stuff unlocked, I think. So it's total playtime, yeah. We'll save, of course. So yes, the original Mega Collection had this as well. But yeah, they have all sorts of art for Sonic Fighters. Uh, that's the that's the European box art uh, right there, I believe. So that's not the American version. I believe that's the European one. It's a bit zany, as you can see. Uh, Sonic R with all the models and track design as well. Okay, so that's Resort Island from the from uh, aerial view. And then we have old images of Sonic. That's the original Sonic 1. I believe that's the art from Sonic 2, I think. Lay Lay Tails art, we've got Sonic Drift. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic 2, and Sonic 2, that I believe is Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on Game Gear, I believe, Tails Sky Patrol, that's Triple Troubles, um, I think this might be Sonic Chaos or Sonic Blast. I always forget which one it is. But yeah, then you got the menu for all sorts of hints for the games and viewing the credits. They go into this collection on who made it and all the original credits for the original games, but that's that's basically it for the Sonic Gems collection. Like, realistically, the, like it's a really big collection, a lot of stuff. Um, especially back in the day, like we're not looking at now because you know we've got re-releases of Sonic games all the time. But this is one of the only games that you could play uh, Sonic the Fighters on. Uh, Sonic CD at that point, Sonic R as well, and the Game Gear stuff, so, yeah. Gotta love having calls in the middle of recording, but yeah, like I was saying, so there was a lot of a lot of exclusives. Like Sonic the Fighters didn't have another re-release at this point in time uh, when this game first came out. Um, Sonic CD, I think, had possibly one, but it wasn't really that great. Like we had the PC release, of course, which is what this version is based on. Um, but other than that, you know. There wasn't too many. Sonic R, last time it was shown up was uh, 
I think it was the Saturn at that point, the Game Gear stuff. I think we had some of it in, of course, uh, Mega Collection, Mega Collection Plus. But um, some of these games, as you can see, like Sonic Drift Racing, as in Sonic Drift 2 and Triple Trouble, all that type of stuff, uh, were left out of the last collection, so they, they added it <laughs> again later on. Um, but yeah, so if, back in the day, this would have been a really, really, really nice ex uh, exclusive kind of content. And I mean, there's some still some exclusive games here, like uh, we're looking at Vector Man. Vector Man hasn't been re-released at all. Like I think it was the Wii Virtual Console. I think it was the last time it was re-released. So if you're going to play Vector Man, you're either finding the original version of the game or finding a compilation of it. And this is one of probably the probably the easiest compilation to get it in if uh, if you're not getting the original game so so there are exclusive things uh, like th something like Sonic Triple Trouble is now on the, like the 3DS um, Tales Adventure is also we also on there and a few other games and that sort of thing they got more re-releases like Sonic the Fighters is on uh, 360 uh, Sonic CD of course you know is on PC on uh, iOS, it's on, um, I believe it would be on Android as well if it's on iOS, um, it's on 360, but of course that's the Christian Whitehead version, which I, I definitely say is the better version of the game, uh, Sonic R is also on, um, the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3, and most of, most of these games would be on PC, um, maybe not the Game Gear stuff, I'm not 100% sure on that stuff, but you know, like Sonic the Fighters, Sonic CD, and Sonic R in some form or fashion would be on the PC. Um, so you could probably find those um, officially. Of course, there is unofficial means like emulation, that sort of thing. But uh, those are, those ROMs would be definitely harder to find nowadays, just because ROMs nowadays are a bit more banned when it comes to a lot of uh, companies and that sort of thing. So yeah. <laughs> So with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching this first impressions video of watching it for the Tales, uh, Tales duology of Game Gear games and Vector Man on the Sonic Gems collection. So with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. This has been Mario Man 2000. You guys have a great day on night and of course, take care.